but later on tax just becoming irrelevant compared to trade and production income. But that's income only, manpower is just relevant all game, so I also take yeah. the manpower. Yeah, manpower is best. Wait, what are the stats again? So I'm trying to pick an air. I've got 203, 46, and 044. Whatever adds up to the highest total number. Yeah, whatever is the total of all three. The highest okay. total of all three is your guy. Well, the Diplo you should value a little less than the other two. Mm -hmm. Like, admin is the most valuable, then mill, then Diplo, I would say. Disagree. Mill, 100% the most valuable. Well, you, use, you use more admin through the game than mill. No, because you just you go mill focus for as much as you can, and then just mill dev all your provinces and get a cancerous number of troops. Like, I used to be an admin guy, and then I saw a guy build a country based on basically pure mill dev, and his troop counts are just obscene. Yeah, but that's like you're going into competitive territory. For a new player, going admin makes a lot of sense. Focusing on admin makes yeah. a lot of sense. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I probably would focus... I can see focusing admin as... Ottomans early, certainly, because you're conquering a load of shit. Yep. Same thing with Russia, by the way. Yeah, I'm with Russia. Although I always, always focus... Do you know how... Do you know no. how the, um... Monarch Point focus system works or not? It does not. No. Okay. Uh, I gotta say, focusing mill at the start is always good to get mill four and five people the eyes do, and then you can just kick their asses. Unless, let's say, you're Portugal, and then you want to go conquer stuff, uh, nice stuff, so you want to go admin, I think, to change the exploration tree. I thought you want... Oh, yeah, because they changed everything now. Isn't... No, exploration's okay. on Diplo, though, isn't it? No, I think it's... I think the conquistadors and is... shit are admin. No? Exploration is... Diplo, Diplo, but expansion okay. is admin, and they changed expansion to it's actually worthwhile. I'm idea. Yeah, so expansion is actually better than expo for actually expanding. That's right. Yeah, but you can't get explored if you don't have right. admin. But you still want to do, do day, ad day one? You do admin because you want to get to five. Admin I don't know tech if that's best. I do think it is. I, I think you might be better focusing Diplo and just banking up a shit ton of Diplo points, so as soon as you get Admin 5, you can get the first two ideas in Diplo and then go exploring immediately. But I honestly don't think, know which is best. I think you'll get there anyway, though, with Diplo, because you don't spend any Diplo no matter what, basically. Exactly, as Shagu was saying, you can bank anyway without focusing Dip. I think focusing Diplo is the noob trap. If you, can you bank enough Diplo? Yeah, you can. Wait, because remember, you need to be rushing Diplo tech to get at, um, colonization range as well. Not if you're Portugal. We've talking about ideas. Um, is that what you're so, all talking about? Yeah, we're talking about yeah, ideas. Yeah, basically. So yeah, if you want to go colonizing, if you so if you go to kind of the, in the top left your country mm -hmm. and then go across to ideas, then you can see where it says unlocked at national ideas five. If you just click on that, and then you can see all the different idea groups. Got it. If you want to go colonizing, you need either exploration, which is about halfway down the diplomatic ideas group, or you need expansion, which is on the same level to the left under admin idea groups. You don't need to do any of that because of the Ottomans. You want to go yeah. like humanists first because that gives you the stability you need without having to convert a bunch of shit. Because Orthodox will be like the same as Muslim basically. And the next thing you want to do is like. Ever. Does he need humanists or can he just give stuff to the, uh, the Dimmy? Oh, true. I, I'm not. You're better with the estate system than I am. I just have never really played the Ottomans, so I don't really know. I know they get plus three by default. Is that enough to get them green? Or... No, that keeps them. Uh, that that might get them at. That gets them at. I guess that gets them green with um with legitimacy. Yeah. But I'm mostly thinking like wartime stability, right? So. 
bonus of true faith when they're at a you know four and a half or I whatever think is the dimmy if they're like neutral they give another plus one and then legitimacy is another plus one but i don't know what that adds up to that's about, I think going yeah. humanist might not be a bad idea anyway, because mm. you get the religious unity, etc, etc. And you get national unrest, don't you, in humanist? Yeah. And, so like and years of separatism. Will, yeah, his country will basically never revolt if he goes humanist. <clears throat> the only issue is that I love the... It's, it, for a lot of countries, I love the Casas Belli at the end of religious. I like the prestige idea in religious. Yeah, there's some nice things in religious. I think it makes it very easy to get yourself all one homogenous religion, and then you also get the uh, CB, so if you're like Shia, you can just declare war on everyone. Anybody want um, Renaissance selling to them? You offered that to me years ago. Can I sell it to you? I don't don't you're in you range. Can nope, you're not, you're not in range. Rip. N let me offer it to Shogi, see if he wants it. Uh, rip. I'm at 99%. So. Okay, yeah. I am what? feeling the itch to invade again. <laughs> well, maybe you're you learning should, how to play uh, the game. You should uh, could get your sh uh, fleets back together. It's probably a good starting point. I don't know, the last time I listened to you on that, it, uh... No, you did not listen to me on that. Put that shit together, son bitch. Alright, I can put it together in any port, or do ports have limits as well? <laughs> hey. No, you can put it in any port. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> to be fair, it was a very expensive province, and it was a free city, which probably gives you more. I mean, at least you it's got Lubeck. You got Lubeck early. Lubeck is not a Okay. Whatever it was, Lubeck tends to just give a shit ton of A for some reason. Yep. Yep. It's okay, so somehow it becomes much less painful to have to sit there when you get when you own Lubeck and Hamburg. Yeah, because you're like, oh look, I still get all the money in the yeah. world, so I think it's fun. I can sit here and just build a war chest and give no fucks. You see this face? This is my no fucks face. Can we prevent the pull the Commonwealth? Um. You can try, but you're gonna have to kill Poland then. No, you're not, because uh, they never formed. They never formed. You're all good. Oh, d were they supposed yeah. to form before then? Yeah. Oh god, yeah, it forms day one normally. Good news! Good news, oh. everybody! Brandenburg's actually going places as well. Good lord. Them go. Wow. Actually, get a Prussia. I did go. Well, I, I try. I can't remember ever seeing an AI Prussia form in this game. Every I'm time Brandenburg convinced. survives, it stays Catholic. I'm not convinced that they'll take the provinces they need for that, despite their current success. All right, my navies are ready, or my navy is ready. <laughs> yeah, you still got two more sitting in the bay for no reason. Those are forward scouts, Raver. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. It's using like the lingo. It's getting into it. All right. All right. So you probably want to check what's your uh, aggressive expansion with mammies, Mamluk. Mamluk. Minus thirty six. Oof. Oof. Still kind of a big hit if you try and take your Kandar and Dulkadari brethren. Maybe you just start uh, fabricating on a Meriti in Georgia, and you just quickly just clean up the rest of the Caucasus. All right. Show them who's got the big Turkish dick. The answer is Mehmet, of course. I thought it was Raymer. No, I got the big Dutch dick, remember? And yo Some dick is my is... dick. <laughs> exactly. And my Tough dick to keep track. is yo dick. <laughs> Uno. So I guess I also have a big Turkish dick. Yeah, see? Everyone right, wins. You're right. At least we do. Yeah. Everyone wins. Yeah. No, you're right, right, you're right, my bad. <laughs>
You know what my favorite country in the world is? What? Go look at my country, and then go look at the purple country directly north of me in Russia. What country are you? Purple, dark purple. Dark. Little one. Just north of me. Wait, which country are you, though? That's what I'm trying to figure out. I'm Muscovy, so I'm the big yellow one in Russia. Alright. There's a country there's, north of you? There's Novgorod. You see that? Green one? I found you, because you're fucking huge. That's right. There's some serious fog of war around you, though. No, you don't see north of me. No, I got fog oh, of war looking bad. at you. That's too bad. Okay, well basically north of me there's a tiny little Russian principality called Below Zero. Hmm. Oh, we're up to 47% reforms as I were already. Alright, did the rebel uprising happen already? I feel like the reformation was way more disruptive in EU3 than it was in EU4. Am that crazy? Did you get the Great League War in EU3? Or not? No, but that's, that's later though. Like, I just remember like... Playing EU3 competitively, if you were not being a Catholic country, you would be like, alright. Wait for the reformation, and then they'll be all fucked up, and then you can attack. Oh no, it's the fucking pirates again. <laughs> How do I intercept them? You just gotta you can't. Let just it, kill them. Uh, just, just lay on your back and let it happen. <laughs> the way you stop them is to declare war on the night, but that would mean fighting Venice. Uh, Mantua, Lucca, Bavaria, and Ravensburg. Too many cunts, basically. Too many cunts on the dance floor. A lot of people. Oh, also, with regards to doing techs, you generally don't want to do them ahead of time, normally. Unless you've got a good reason to do it. Unless you're like 666, and you're max points, and you're Ottoman Empire. And well, then you just death. Just yeah, dev, dev, right. dev, dev, dev. dev. Alright, I buy that. I buy that. I buy that. Dev up Constantinople until it becomes an impossible god. <laughs> the 60 dev Constantinople. Or spawn everything. Pretty much. Okay, I, I got the Renaissance in Moscow, so that's what matters. Look at England! My god! What? You've already taken Ireland and shit. Oh yeah, <laughs> I've run out of manpower now. <laughs> so, I can't even get my subjugation TV on from bloody Scotland. So, what's more important? Do I want to keep my biological heir? And five prestige? Or go with some other woman running the harem? And I get a new What's heir? the point? What are the points of your biological heir, and what are the points of your new heir? My current heir has 12, this new one gets 13. Like, 5, 4, 5 is the new one. And is the difference, what is the, uh... It's so good to be Turkish. Uh, what is the... It's like, what is the, uh, legitimacy difference? Uh, I have one? no idea. Uh, I would if the other one's better, one, just then. swap. Uh... Take that free cash money, playboy. I go three speed or nah, no. Nah, month takeovers are still rough for Shaggy's potato. Manchester. Mm-hmm. I've got this quest where I need to occupy Paris. Yeah, you're not doing that. <laughs> you sure? Mm -hmm. I don't know how Manchester feels about um, 
prosperity, but I'll tell you, he feels quite strongly about prosperity. <laughs> but it's a great one because it gives me a personal union to be on France. Can you imagine how good that would be? Yeah, I'm sure he'd love to hook you up with that. But again, yeah. the prosperity is pretty important here. I'd love to be in a PU under you, Dave. It's, it's my greatest desire. <laughs> it would be an honor, Manchester. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Why are my the subjects all pissy? Bunch of cunts! That's what they are! Uh, go in it. Get him. But we're gonna have the most atrocious friends, because he's gonna be here, and then he's gonna be like an impossible demon god king. No. Uh, Unless I get like an easy uh, TU or something. I don't know, you're gonna be pretty fucking big if you take the whole Genoa note. And then I'm just gonna fucking sit around and have money. It's, it's fine. You're gonna fund my wars of expansion against the Ming. I'm a nice uh, overlord. Yeah. I'll toss some ducats your way. I'll always take ducats. If people got spare ducats, I'll take all the ducats. Buckets of ducats. I, I mean, I'm not spending them properly. I've got a bunch banked up. How much do you have banked up? You really want to know? Yeah, I really want to know. Fifteen hundo. Oh, shivies. Oh, you got a couple of hundo for your boys in, in Moscow? I'll send Hell you some yeah. Russian women. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. How do I send you money? <laughs> oh, wait. The Papal State. The Papal Smear wants. Oh, never mind. They're gone. Uh, you they click wanted on access. Me? How do I find you? Hey, you just scroll up north to Moscow and you click on it. There we go. Diplomacy actions. Diplomacy? Yep. And then economy actions? Yep. And then send gift. Alright, how much you want? Right, just send me a couple of hundo. I'll take the free Turkish cash. It's the best cash. Oh, baby. That, should I be building buildings and shit? Yeah, sure. Click, the, click your building thing. You can see build province grievance. Click taxation. The church. It should be sorted as high as to lowest. I mean, if it's really, if it's above like 0.1, it's worth doing. Wait, the, uh, the, the modifier buildings? for the mosque? Yeah. The, the, yeah, yeah, mo church for me, mosque for you. Yeah, I get 40%. Yeah, 40, 0.4. Yeah. That's 0.4 ducats per month. Don't build that shit, yeah. That's money. Cash money, let's build some mosques. Um, I think if, yeah, if it's above 0 0.1 or 0 0.15, it's worth it. Build one thing at a Am I actually getting this mosque? Oh, do I have to pick 2. where I build them? Oh. Yeah, well, you can do it in the control screen. Yeah, yeah. So you 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 press the build province improvements. You click mosque. You have a list. You don't have to do it on the map. You can also just directly click on the list. Uh. Gotta build a few All the cash money in Russia. Yeah, how's that special delivery working for you? Good, I built a church. I hope your Muslim brother in won't mind. <laughs> as long as it's <laughs> church to booty, I'm in. Church to Russian techno cobras. Alright, time to fabricate a claim. Go on their flag there. Fucked. Live res 
responded to my thing about our bodies merging. Which said, is, yeah. Uh, I said our, our bodies already met tonight. They're, uh, they're merging as we speak. Is that weird? I hope so. And she said, I hope so too. <laughs> yeah, she should come to melt the four of us. That would be such a good crew. Weird. Sounds a little Weird. dangerous. Eh, you know me, I like to play with yeah. fire. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we all just elope. We go from there to Bogota and start a drug cartel. Dude, that'd be so down. Good life. Fresh new way to run away from my responsibilities, you feel me? Only cardio I ever encourage. <laughs> Am I at war with these assholes yet? You have to declare war on them, it's usually- Oh yeah, you are. You're at war oh, with yeah. the mayor, too. Uh, Send the troops yeah. in. And the soldiers in! Dude, that is- That was not an efficient round take. Right, let's put it that way. <laughs> God, that orange is so ugly, I'm already tilted. Hamburg looks so wrong to see a Hamburg just spreading. Wait, is Castile one of our people? No. No, they're asking for military access. So I'm gonna tell them to fuck themselves. Yeah, let them have it. Let them have yeah, it. Let them have it. Yeah, let them have it. Oh, they're working with um, they're working with uh, Manchego, so you can give it to them. It doesn't matter. They're not gonna use it for shit because you're like off in the east. The AI is coded. So basically, Paradox, the company that makes this game, they don't actually have any idea how to code AI. They just do really ghetto workarounds. So it's like, oh, we're at war. Have the AI ask for access from everyone. <laughs> so we don't have to worry about actually coding them. There, but still. They've been working on it for the last seven years, and their, their brute force solution to access is have AI ask for access from every single country within 200 units. The fact that out of sync is still a thing tells you enough. Well, out of sync's a game, an issue in all Paradox games, to be fair. Right, but they're the only game company that has out of sync issues. Mm, Civs, Civs have had out of sync issues, haven't they? I don't play Civ multiplayer because I don't consider that a real game. I don't play it much, but yeah, yeah, sure, sure he said, yeah, Civ. I don't know what it is, maybe it's trashy games. Yo, a Lithuanian spy just got caught. How do I execute him? <laughs> hey, leave my wife alone. Yeah. <laughs> Going through my sock drawer, Raymer. Can't have that. Yeah, she just wants to know. She wants to know for Those, she knows those socks are private. She knows how much I love you, and she just wants to make sure that you're being faithful to me. Damn. Are we I would never cheat on myself. Three speed right now? Stopping? Well, alright, Shoggy. Now, Shoggy's potato is single-handedly holding us back to two-speed. Shoggy, why didn't you import your real computer like a normal person? Because the price for that, I might as well buy a new one. Which I am gonna do next month, I think. What do you mean? You literally just take it in your fucking, like, carry-on luggage. There wasn't room for that. Well, do you never go back? When are you moving back to Denmark? I don't know. Next year, probably. 
Okay, so go home for a weekend, take a backpack and a suitcase, put the computer in the carry-on, problem solved. That will be cheaper than buying a new computer. Makes a good point. I make a very good point, because I've been doing this kind of shit for years. Oh, yeah. I'm still gonna buy a new computer, I think. Oh man. God. It's fucking Venetians. All these little cunts had to join this war. It's annoying. Oh, but to be fair, is... Jokey, as somebody who moves around quite a bit, like I found that just a pretty decent laptop, you're not gonna be running PUBG, for example, on it, but it copes entirely fine with strategy games. Dave, are you, do you move around quite a bit? I was a student, so yeah, I was moving between home and whatever. Oh, so yeah, between like, York yeah. and Sheffield? Yeah, so mm. it's a big, big distance, long travels over there. No, it's like a three hour train journey, I'm like, if I'm coming home for a weekend, I'm not I lived in Vietnam for the last year and a half. Shut up. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna look, like, the whole fucking PC <laughs> up and down for a weekend. But I want to be able to, like, play, because I had organized Hearts of Iron games on uh, weekends. Must be nice, you can go home for the weekends, huh? Oh, that, that yeah. It's a bonus. Must be nice to have a home. Yeah, same. And you the weekend, like? actually. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I mean, you got to drink with homegirl Liv, so that's something. Hell yeah. Hell uh, yeah, are you back in LA already? Yeah, dude, getting home was a fucking nightmare. I hate Yeah, I saw yeah. that four hour delay or whatever. Yeah. I was supposed to be home at midnight. I got home at 4 a.m. Ugh. Yeah, All the liberals, trying, man. Liv was trying to argue we should all move to San Francisco. I told her she's wrong. No. I think New York is probably best. Oh, than fuck, LA. Though. Than Winter, Park. though. Winter, though. Oh, but we have it. our friendships to keep us warm, Raymer. You're telling me it's the four of us are gonna get into a polyamorous marriage? What's going on here? Well, I, I mean, first. yeah, like that's not directly where I was going with it, but probably at some point. All right, cool. I mean, you that, that works. Shuggies I mean, behind or something? I think he's frozen. Yeah, my game. Froze. Dougie, what happened to you? I don't know. My game is frozen. Nothing's happening. Dougie, please, Shuggy, 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 Shuggy. Buy a real computer. I know you're doing your PhD, and that has no money and a lot of work, but... I turned hot to Surely, you can use the computer to complete your PhD. <laughs> Write it off as a uh, expense on your taxes. <laughs> Academic expense. Exactly. Oh, he dropped. You'll be pleased know. to know that uh, uh, a large... Right Rebellion has broken oh. out in the Netherlands. Alright, so we're paused. We're kind of a large rebellion on the Dutch separatists. Hot join is on. Bless the Dutch. Let them live their best life. Until the Great British invade them. Russia has guaranteed the Dutch Republic. I've actually done that in a multiplayer game. Believe it. The Dutch deserve guarantees. Yeah. You should uh, guarantee programs instead. And by guarantee, I mean stake your claim. <laughs> I would be happy to stake my claim on Poland. <laughs> Actually, if I recall, I'd be happy to stake my claim up to the Elba. <laughs> shuggy, 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 can't you see? Sometimes.